Good day. Today we are looking at ultrasonic liquid processor or we can call it as probe sonicator. Probe sonicator is commonly used in nanotechnology for evenly dispersing nanoparticles in liquids and for breaking down particle to nano size. In biological applications, probe sonicator is often used to disrupt cell membranes and release cellular contents. Probe sonicator is also used to fragment molecules of DNA. How it works? Here, electrical signal is converted by the transducer to a mechanical vibration. The vibration is amplified and transmitted down the length of the probe where the tip longitudinally expands and contracts. In liquids, the rapid vibration of the tip causes cavitation, that is, which causes the disruption of the sample and makes it easy to break down the particles into smaller sizes. Let us have a look on description of components. It consists of converter, probe with replaceable tip, stand with clamp, sound abating enclosure. It is power supply and front panel consists of LCD display, 0 to 9 numerical keys, clear key, enter key, start stop key, timer key, pulsar key, amplitude key, power on key, power off key, Increase or decrease the amplitude in small increments keys. Rear panel consists of cooling fan, power cord connector, converter cable connector. How to operate? Press the on key button. The screen will display the power rating of the ultrasonic processor and following control parameters like time, pulse, amplitude. Immerse the probe approximately halfway into the sample. If the probe is immersed to an insufficient depth, air will be injected into the sample, causing the sample to foam. Also ensure that the probe tip is not touching the wall of the sample vessel. The ultrasonic processor is now ready for continuous operation. Now set timer, pulsar and amplitude. Now you can observe the setting of timer, pulsar and amplitude. For every setting we have to press the enter key. If you observe carefully you can understand easily. Now press the start key. Now the energy is transmitted from the probe to the sample which causes the disruption of the sample and makes it easy to break down the particles into smaller sizes. During the process, do not open the door as ultrasonic vibrations are above the human audible range. After completing the experiment, switch off the instrument. These are the probe tips available in diameter. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.